Hello friends, this is the third lesson of the course Biotechnology uh, and the tools and techniques involved in it. Uh, my This lesson is about DNA fingerprinting, one of the most commonly used technique these days. This is about me. I love to read, to do research and to listen to music. And now coming to the first slide of the topic. Uh, DNA fingerprinting. What is it? DNA fingerprinting is also known as DNA testing, DNA typing or DNA profiling. As the name suggests, it is the method or technique to prepare a DNA fingerprint of an individual. Uh, this term and this technique was both given by Sir Alec Jeffrey in 1986 and uh, now we should know what do we mean by DNA fingerprint of an individual. It is the description of specific alleles present at a series of polymorphic loci in his or her genome. A polymorphic locus is that region of the genomic DNA whose sequence is different in different individuals. Uh, since we know that the chemical structure of everyone's DNA is same, the only difference is between the persons uh, between the persons is the order of the base pairs. Hence, every person could be identified solely by the sequence of their base pairs. Although two individuals will have the vast majority of their DNA sequence in common, um, but DNA profiling exploits highly variable repeat sequences. Uh, and uh, it uh, uh, identify those sequences and on the basis of those uh, uh, region this technique is used to distinguish between individuals of same species uh, using only the samples of their DNA. Uh, now how? How a DNA fingerprint of an individual is prepared? Uh, for preparing the DNA fingerprint of an individual, its genomic DNA is first subjected to restriction digestion. That is, it is digested and broken into smaller fragments with the help of a suitable restriction enzyme. Uh, a restriction enzyme is a molecular scissor or uh, uh, an enzyme which acts as a molecular scissor and it uh, cuts uh, the whole DNA molecule into smaller fragments. Uh, it cuts the DNA uh, at specific locations known as the recognition sequence for this uh, enzyme and uh, hence uh, from a complete uh, uh, length of genomic sequence smaller fragments are produced. Now. Uh, this mixture of DNA fragment is termed as DNA digest and it is subject to gel electrophoresis. Now as uh, 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 we know gel electrophoresis uh, uh, in my first slide I uh, gave a brief description about gel electrophoresis. It is the technique which is used to uh, separate DNA molecules uh, on the basis of their size in uh, presence of applied electric field and um, um, on a suitable matrix. Uh, so this DNA di uh, digest and the DNA fragments are separated uh, on the basis of their size on a gel electrophoresis. Now uh, this um, uh, separated DNA fragments are subjected to sudden hybridization that is they are hybridized uh, with a probe uh, specific for highly variable nature region. Now, what is a probe? A probe is a um, uh, oligonucleotide uh, for a uh, highly highly variable, which is complementary to the highly variable region or the polymorphic loci. And uh, these probes are uh, um, uh, labeled with some uh, uh, flow. Uh, some uh, uh, are either radio labeled or some reporting molecules uh, so that they their binding to the complementary sequence can be easily detected. Now this digestion is subjected to the sudden hybridization with the probe and this uh, uh, probe is uh, 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 after the binding of the probe uh, now the polymorphism is detected and it is scored that is on the basis of the binding of the probe at various locations and uh, the differences between the two individuals or in the binding pattern of this probe the polymorphism if any polymorphism is present it is identified and it can be scored for uh, distinguishing or for identifying uh, the two individuals from each other. 
now uh, uh, my next slide is about why why do we need this technique this technique is uh, commonly used by forensic scientists who are, have been able to find out the missing purpose uh, persons and uh, this is uh, used uh, to determine whether or not a person is a parent of a child that is to sort out the parenting issues and uh, it is also uh, used uh, uh, in the uh, on crime scenes to uh, establish that whether a person is guilty of a crime or uh, uh, he or she is innocent and uh, in uh, um, plant uh, molecular biology also it is applicable to distinguish between different plant varieties on the basis of their uh, um, polymorphic sequences so as we can see this particular technique is having vast uh, applications and uh, uh, i hope i'm clear uh, about uh, dna fingerprinting and dna profiling it is, was a brief uh, description about the technique if you have further queries you can uh, uh, ask me and uh, you can even uh, comment on my uh, lesson thank you